Welcome to Great Chefs of the World. Today we explore the new world cuisine of the Caribbean, featuring some of the island's finest chefs. The first course comes from Virgin Gorda in the British Virgin Islands. Benoit Pepin, executive chef at the Little Dicks Bay Resort, prepares black mussels with leeks. Note his use of a curry powder called Colombo. The entree is done by Hans Schenk, chef at the Sugar Mill Restaurant at Montego Bay, Jamaica. It is escoviched fish, which as you'll see is quite unlike the raw fish preparation called ceviche. The roots of this dish are Spanish. Finally, from the Ritz-Carlton Cancun, pastry chef Patrick Lassac presents a banana chocolate tart. The methods include preparations of sweet dough flavored with hazelnut powder and a praline-flavored creme anglaise. Pepin was concluding three and a half years at Little Dicks Bay. His interest in Caribbean cooking prompted his selection as British Virgin Island team captain for a 1994 Caribbean culinary competition in the Bahamas. The next year, he was the chef trainer for the same event in Puerto Rico. His appetizer, Colombo of Black Mussels. So for the nage of uh, Colombo of Mussels, I use a nage of vegetable and I use onion. in a pan. I use some leeks. Naj is a thin broth. We use some ginger. A lot of ginger. some carrots and some celery. Use some, some basil leaves. a bit branch of thyme, some rosemary, and also some fennel. And a lot of spices. Spices, we have anise star, two of them. We have some fennel seed. We have two cloves, some cuminos, some coriander seed. <coughs> Black peppercorn, two bay leaves, and some colombo powder. And we're gonna add a bit of wine to it, and some water. This combination is simmered for 25 minutes. Colombo powder is a curry from Martinique. Indian workers from there brought their own curry and modified it with local ingredients. Now the chef begins the mussel preparation with diced shallots.
The shallot goes into a pan with some butter. After liquid is added, the mussels will be cooked in the pan. Chopped shallot also begins the sauce. So I'm going to use butter to saute the shallots with the Colombo powder. So we got some wine. And we're gonna cover it for like <clears throat> cook for two or three minutes. The mussels open in about two minutes. Strain them and save the juice for the sauce. Muscle juice is poured into the sauce. Now we're going to add some vegetable nash to it. This is cooked for 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, the chef removes the mussels from the shells. Garnish includes poached leek slices and Swiss chard. The sauce is strained and finished with a little butter, leading to presentation. I'm gonna finish the sauce with some butter. Just before service, the mussels are warmed in the sauce. There's the leeks, like a star. Put a switch on the middle. Schenk was born in Switzerland into a restaurant family. In fact, he says he knew he was going to be a chef by age four. Now he's the father of Caribbean cuisine. He's won both gold and silver medals in the Culinary Olympics. Unlike a number of island chefs, he imports nothing. All of his products come from Jamaica. Here is his escoviched fish. What I do here is I already put salt and white pepper on it. I just marinated a little bit with local limes. I dust it. Mahi Mahi is the dolphin fin fish, not the mammal. It's seasoned and dusted with a little flour. It's sauteed in a little olive oil. The fish will be served with turned pieces of potato and pieces of pumpkin.
Then I just show you the ingredients I'm using, like potatoes, the pumpkin, sweet peppers, red and green, chili and onions. And naturally, when you cook on an island, the gold pepper, the hot pepper, should never uh, be missed. I'm going to make a little chili and for the escovitch fish. I'm using tomatoes to give them some color. So it's very important that you have some nice bright colors on top of your fish. I try to avoid to put the, the seeds in there. The seeds are really the hottest thing on the pepper. The mahi-mahi is turned several times during the cooking. The fish is removed to another pan, the oil discarded, and in the same pan, julienne vegetables are cooked, onion and red and green bell pepper. I'm going to use um, a Spanish sherry vinegar here, but anybody could use their favorite vinegar at home. It could be a herb vinegar, a can, or red wine even if they want to. After these vegetables have softened, julienne carrot is added. Then at the end, tomato. The vegetables are placed on top of the fish. So you soak the fish with the vinegar and the vegetables for a little while and uh, I'm putting in the gold paper now that is uh, something, well you have to watch, you know, if, when, when you entertain friends you have to find out if they like hot peppers or not. So it's advisable to serve it on the side. You know it's amazing if you look on the statistics over the last five years, how much peppers, country peppers, hot peppers, sweet peppers, um, they even have peppers like this that they grow in, they're not even hot. They just, they give them the flavor, but they are sweet. But Jamaica is doing a great job on exporting peppers. I mean, they're exporting 25, 30 thousand ton of pepper, you know, all over. One of the biggest fast and growing things. Everyone, everybody's in the pepper business now. Okay. Now this is a, this is a, an OTT apple. That is a Jamaican apple who uh, also grows in your backyard. It's a beautiful fruit. It's uh, it's colorful. It's good for many things. Um, the local people it just instead like they call it an American apple or a local apple. And what I use them for is all the time just for garnishing. Or you can make dessert in fruit salad, you know. So it's it's always a nice thing to have. I'm going to put in a little watermelon, who is giving you a tingle when you eat it, and then we're going to have them cold, always leave them cold, you know.
And I got here a little basil that gives them out there a nice flavor. Okay, this is the typical Jamaican escalator fish. French pastry chef Patrick Lassac has been with the Ritz-Carlton Cancun since 1995. Prior to that, he chefed at the Hotel Negresco, a two-star Michelin operation in Nice, and at the Hotel de Paris, a three-star property at Monaco. Here is his banana chocolate tart. A sweet dough is started with four ounces of butter, two ounces of powdered sugar, and two ounces of hazelnut powder. One egg and eight ounces of cake flour are also added. The flour or the flour? I don't know the, I don't have the good accent. French accent, so. Put one. The dough is wrapped in plastic wrap and refrigerated for at least two hours. Then it's rolled out to a thickness of about an eighth of an inch. This paste is very, very fragile, so you need to, it's not a normally sweet paste because we get more we leave the quantity of the flour and you get a quantity more important about the about the as a nut powder you're gonna get a flavor different flavor better and in more you're gonna get sweet paste more not hard sweet paste. It's not going to be a hard sweet paste. Like that. Around. With this part of the knife, not this one, with this part, you can keep all. And you put inside, like that. Rice is used to weigh down the dough. This, or this way, when you're gonna cook, you're gonna leave all your sweet paste normal. You're gonna don't gonna you doesn't gonna get you don't gonna get uh, sweet paste very soft and go down like that. And after you cook, the temperature is two three three twenty grade Fahrenheit, and we you cook for about. 10 minutes maximum because it's very, very thin. A chocolate filling calls for a mixture of cocoa powder and granulated sugar that is added to warm milk and stirred constantly until it comes to a boil. This mixture is then strained into melted chocolate. Soft butter is then incorporated. Okay. Okay, you put your butter and you mix, it's gonna pass more liquid. In more you're gonna get a shining. The butter is very important for that. The chef's version of creme anglaise calls for the addition of praline paste to the standard sauce. The egg yolk praline mixture is cooked in milk and cream until it coats the back okay. of a spoon. You can, you can see one thing. It's, we call this one a la nappe when you make this. Then it's chilled in a bowl set in an ice bath. Assembly of the dish begins by warming through banana slices in a brown sugar water mixture.
just need to cook like that. Nothing else. The bottom of the baked shell is covered with the slices. Then the chocolate filling. With a glass of chocolate, we can fill in double tart, double tart, banana tart. Refrigerate 10 to 15 minutes. Until the top. Chocolate sauce and the praline flavored creme anglaise garnish. Like that. And the praline sauce. Cacao powder. Very dangerous the cacao powder because all the time you don't get what you want. Like that, and the part, just a part of the plate. And with chocolate, why not Valorana? We can use for make a copo of chocolate. No? Like that. On the top. You just need to put a couple like that around your plate. 